Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your December read for this current year. Huzzah! You made it. Yes. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Virgo and those watching for Virgo, of course. The cross watches. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop the nose and away it goes. No reason like keeping yourself stuck on something that doesn't resonate with you, right? Or go with your story. Also, cross watch or switch where you need to because I have no idea what the hell's going on. I also enjoy cursing. So if the F-bomb and such bothers the shit out of you, like, you know, you might want to go somewhere else because I like saying shit like that, right? Newcomers, if you want a personal read after this, all the info is down below in the description box after the music listing. First reading is on the house, of course, and everything else after comes with the price, and I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Anyway, Virgo, someone won a battle and then they realized they lost the fucking war. It's just like, oh, I didn't mean to do that shit. Fuck, 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 right? And it caused a situation where there was no love or an apology given. So now the wants and wishes for a cycle to end all fucking, which makes so much sense, right? Right. However, the obstacle and challenge right now is that someone's lingering in the crossroads where they need to get moving. It's like they're stalling, acting like a martyr, acting like they're doing the right thing, but it's really just like messing them up because it's delaying the inevitable, I feel like. Your fears and rejections, the ten of wands, a burden, right? And how this shit comes full circle, how it starts out to end, the moon, someone having their feelings played with. Could be a Cancer, could be a Pisces, right? Also, Pisces right here with the hanged man, of course. Oh, we got some abuse of nature in the uh, beginning theme, right? Right. Mm. Well... That's not good. That's not good at all. Someone is a dick and says some really fucked shit. Almost to the point just to tear somebody down. Weird. That's the wrong deck. My bad. Hmm, there we go. I feel like the person who's nagging was the one who fucked things up. That's just me. Anyway, let's go on. Yeah, someone played some games and now they're sitting on the cross and they have a fear about this burden right here. There was no love or apology given and by the end of this cycle it was all messed up and then someone came to realize they got played with. But both people got played with, not just one. So this person who might have tried to set things up, they might have fucked themselves up, right? Yeah, someone walked away after they were done with this shit. It was just like, well, shit. You know, and that's because they were in an attitude mode, being really harsh, very hasty with the King of Swords, Reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Hmm. Harsh, but okay. Down below in the situation with this Ace of Cups Reverse, right? Oh Lord, someone was asleep and everything burned the fuck down. Like, you had one job, Greg. One fucking job, and then like, you know, it's like a, it's like that. Like someone fell asleep at work, and then all of a sudden, um, the entire United States of America got like burnt. And it was just like, God damn it, Greg, we told you to watch the camera. You know, it was just like that. And he's just like, no apologies, I'm not sorry. You know, still not taking any action either. Um, not doing anything to quell the fire after they wake up, and they're just like, you know, I'm just gonna, uh, nah, I, like, I want marshmallows. I want to make s'mores. This is a really good time for s'mores, you know? I, like, this person is very... I'm dropping one more on that, because that's like... Hmm, Virgo and Crosswatcher, this is an interesting person. However, they do want to play a necromancer and bring people back from the dead. The problem is they'll be soulless, they'll be zombies, they'll just sit in there being like brains and shit, right? With their pinky fingers out as they like drink stuff and, the, and some random naked chicks just dancing in the sunshine right um this person doesn't want to let something die but they're not taking any action to quell the fire that's went down either and like i'm not sorry for how things happen but i do miss you bitch it is just kind of like what are you doing 
What do you mean you missed me? You missed me a lot while you let everything burn down in my yard. Really? Well, we can plant some more grass. It'll be all right. That's something my father would say. My father actually did that. Something happened to our yard. I can't remember what it was about our yard when I was really young. It was like three or four years old. They laid a bunch of hay and grass seed in the yard just to make grass. And I can't remember why our yard was like that for a life of me, but it, it was a reason. I should ask him that. He would be able to tell me because, like, I barely remember that. I just remember being three or four. I was holding my little brother's hand. And we were watching Dad, like, lay all this shit in the yard, which was really just mud at the time, but still. All right, let's see. Wants and wishes with this world reverse, everything was funky. Someone's still mulling over the emotions, but Virgo, I feel like that's you. You're still like really sad about shit, but you're really much like Gemini. You, your entire world could be breaking down. You could have like a, a, a an actual triggering mental breakdown, an internal existential crisis, and you'll still have a smile on your face. Like you're breaking down, but in reality, you're just hiding how you're really feeling. Obstacle and challenge, the hanged man. Keeping yourself at that crossroads like a martyr or something, right? Uh, you are going to try to cut something out for sure. And that's like this person coming up like, wait, it's late. Okay, you might be cutting out Virgo and Crosswatcher or this person could be, but I feel like it's you. You're like trying to cut something out. Or it could be this air sign that I'm picking up, but it, you could be their counterpart too. And you're cutting it out and because it's like you're sick of waiting. It's like you've been waiting here for this person this entire time. They still ain't show shown up. They still aren't doing anything. They're not doing anything to fix anything either. And you're just like, I am sick of all this fucking waiting. When are you going to give me what I want? You know, I've been sitting here idolizing you the entire point where like I'm walking through a damn swamp, like not knowing what the fuck I'm doing. I'm sitting here waiting for like a, a new beginning with you, even though I don't know what's going on. And, and I am sick of waiting. How long do I have to wait? You know, it's already bad enough I gotta call, like, the cell phone services and talk to somebody who I, like, who's supposed to help me, and it's just a computer. Ugh. Like, I feel like it's driving you nuts. I was getting that with Taurus, too, but Taurus was more agitated. You're just being annoyed. It's just like, none of this makes any sense to me. You know, Virgo, the way that you deal with people is like you find a way of making sense of what, uh, like if a person tells you a story, you'll sit there and try to make sense of it for you so you can understand them. And right now this person isn't giving you anything to understand anything. So now you're just sitting here like being annoyed because you don't even know what's going on enough for you to analyze how to deal with the situation. The fears are injections. This Ten of Wands, a burden, right? You are burdened because this person thinks they can control everything, and, but you also know that, like, you can break that fucking ego in, like, two heartbeats. Like, you could just say something mean and be like, you know what, like... Mm. Like, I saw this really funny, like, Libra and Virgo meme. Because, you know, that's actually my parents' um, zodiacs. My father's a Libra, my mother's a Virgo, right? And it was like, the Libra person was like, I don't know how we're going to try to converse. And then the Virgo person was like, or no, they said conversate, and the person who was a Virgo was just like, I think the word is converse. And then the Libra was like, what? And then the Virgo was like, just say talking. Like, I feel like you're doing that with that person because they're being unfair, trying to keep this control. Because I don't think you're the one doing the control, Virgo and Crosswatcher. I think they're trying to control you, and you're slowly but surely breaking their spirit one um, grammatical correction at a time. Because, you know... And you're not letting them know exactly what you know, either. Like, you got keys to know a different direction on dealing with them that I don't think that they're expecting. I think you're using your intuition to be like, how can I fuck with this person more than what I normally do? Right? While this shit comes full circle, how it starts, how it ends, the moon. Could be Pisces, could be Cancer, but people feel like their emotions were played with. Like, the truth wasn't brought out, and now, like, you're definitely annoyed because you know there's something fucked up. But it's got you sitting there all like you're fluffled and confused and you're just like emotional and shit. And you don't like it. You don't like it one bit. The ending theme. You're not trying to go anywhere near this person who's trying to give you shit. Uh, every time you do, they can't tell you nothing. And, you know, your sense of justice is kicking in and being like, ho, oh, ho, 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 who do you think you're talking to with that nonsense trying to get me into this shit all over again? Like... 
Who do you think you are trying to start some craziness, right? I'm not sure who keeps hitting me up, but like, I guess I should try to talk to him or whatever. But I'll do that after your video. All right. So with the after deck, definitely scared to take a leap of faith because you know there's not a legend underneath it there, and now it's kind of dangling. You're like, oh, maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe this flower wasn't worth it because now I just lost my other set of clothes. You know, trying to um, embrace a fucking lion to the point of choking it out. But that's going to bring the tower again. And it's going to be like, oh, you didn't learn your lesson the first time about this connection? Okay, just just go ahead and take the apple. Take the apple. See what happens. You know, like that. Ew. I just heard my father get come out of my mouth. That's crazy. That's kind of creepy, too. <laughs> I hate when that happens. I hate when I hear my parents come out of my mouth. Like, that is, like, the creepiest thing ever. It's just, like, I don't want to hear my mom tell me, like, not to ruin something in my voice. That's, like, that's, ugh. That shit always freaks me out. Mm. Okay, yeah, so with the situation, right, you could be sitting on your couch and all of a sudden find out that people are fighting over you. And you're like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, battles going on without your knowledge. You just walk in your kitchen one day and everyone's just naked fighting each other for no reason. And you just walk out the room, I feel like. You're just like, yeah, you know what? It's time to move on to something different. Monkey, get on here. We're going somewhere else. We are going somewhere else. All right, situation down here. You definitely want to be crowned a victor with someone, or this person's trying to do that with you, Virgo and Crosswatcher. It's not going to work. Like, they're trying to come in while riding on, like, like, they're not even riding on a fucking horse, honestly. Like, whatever horse they would ride on, they ain't doing shit with it, but they're still expecting you to walk up and be like, you're my hero. And it's like, I'm not doing that. Like, you know, I gotta go to work. <laughs> I have to go iron my clothes. Uh, thank you very much. Let's see. Wants and wishes, right? I think you do want a happy ending with your family and all that. We're going cross watcher. But you will find a way of making that fucking happen. You're going to make your happiness happen. Holy shit. You're sad inside, and I don't think you're letting people know how sad you are, but it's going to happen. You're manifesting your happiness. You're going to find your kumbayas and make s'mores without having to burn your yard down or have someone else do it. So that's a good thing. You're going to have a controlled fire, not controlled in the vicinity of the United States country. You know, it's not going to be crazy. Let's see. Down below in the obstacle and challenge, no communication does lead to some bad shit, right? It's a lack of communication that's stemming up a lot of bad things. And now this King of Swords, who's already reversed, like, his lack of communication, he's just showing the bird in his mouth being like, I'm sorry, what did you say? I didn't say shh, nothing. Leave me alone, you know, like, every time you try to talk to him, they say stuff under their breath, but they ain't gonna say that shit to your face. It could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, once again, King of Swords. He's reversed and shit, right? So let's see. The fears and rejections. You might just end up finding somebody else. Holy shit. Or you decide to make a choice. But someone doesn't want to let go. Someone isn't letting this bird go. Mm. Definitely could be with a Gemini. Like, you might give them chances. You might hand them apples like here. This is yours. And they're just like, you are still mine. You know, just crazy tasty shit, right? Last card. What brings this shit full circle? How it starts, how it ends. Someone fucks up. And then another, and, and then comes for like some information. The moon once again. Someone's tricks didn't work. And now someone wants to know what the fuck's actually going on. Hmm. Virgo, that's your reading. I don't know if this helps a lot of y'all out, but that's the end of the show for today. So if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. No pressure, of course. But if it, I would greatly appreciate it, you know. No, and no issues, though. But this is definitely um, for y'all. So I will see you guys later. I love your faces, and I hope you all take it easy. Don't let them tell you what to do. Annoy them if you must. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.